Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Check it out, guys. Today, we're going to be comparing Super Hots to mainstream products of the same name. Now, in this corner, I've already gotten into these. I can tell you right now, they are spicy and they do taste good. I've read the back and they do contain, this contains habanero and this contains scorpion pepper. So I've reviewed this product before. This one I haven't, but man, is it a good snack? And it it, it does have a kick to it, y'all. It, it, it's this is this, all right. I didn't buy these two products to review. I bought these as a snack, and as I was eating them, I was like, these are good enough to review. Like these actually have spice to them, as opposed to a lot of the um, mainstream products that claim they're hot but not. But these actually do have some heat to them. But are they on the level of these? This is a habanero. This is, of course, not a super hot, but it is a hot pepper. If you st eat multiples in this stack, they are ever bit as hot as a super hot. And this is a Maruga Scorpion. I grew this one myself. This is fresh out of the garden. What's left of the garden. Uh, since we've been having freezing temperatures, I brought the plants in. And this one came off of one of the plants. And I decided to go ahead and delete that plant. It was a good plant. Don't get me wrong. It's not that. It was just not something I wanted to carry over into next year. So I'm not going to keep fighting over. I just kept just a couple of pl uh, plants that I want to carry over into next year. But it did deliver some good peppers. And, some, and this one's still slightly ripening. But man, it's been ripening for over a month now. <laughs> it has taken this one a really long time. But it's a wintered pod. So I don't know what to expect from the heat. But if you've seen yesterday's video, then you saw that I picked up these. Yellow Carolina Reapers, Golden Carolina, whatever you want to call it, California Reaper, maybe even. These don't even have a tail. They look more like a Maruga Scorpion with the lobes with no tail, but they got that gnarliness to them, guys. And I could not pass this up. Matter of fact, if there's still some more left, I got five packages of them. Some of these are really, really big. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's pull and find out. Let's find out what where's the where's the biggest one. That one's good size. I don't think that's the biggest one though. Okay, this one's the biggest of that bunch. We'll put him over here. We're going to find, maybe we'll eat the biggest one of these in today's. I'll pretty much tell you that it ain't going to be in this package, even though this one's got some good size to it. Man, look at those guys. These are these are really nice peppers. I remember the last time I got some Reapers from HEB. They actually were pretty hot, and they're from Mexico. This is from a different company, if I remember right. woo woo that's going to be the biggest one of this bunch. This one's got some good weight to it, though. Man, that one's nice also. But this one, it's got, the, it's, got to, it's got to take over the show right there. What do you think? What do you think? Girth-wise, for sure. Length-wise, maybe not. That's what she said. Um, man, that one's, this one's the heaviest, though. I'm going, to, I'm going to go with this one because of the weight. It's going to blow these two out of the water because of the weight. It almost feels as heavy as both of these together. And it's not, but... I got other ideas for these for other videos. And like I said, I may, if they still have some left, go back to HEB and get some more. Not that my tolerance is through the roof by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, man. These are all big. That's what she said. That's got pretty good size pumpkin lobes to it. But uh, ne my next trip into Louisiana, I got several places that I'd like to do some reviews. If I can crunch them all in, I'll get a couple in for sure. It's beautiful scenery in the background. That's what I'm kind of leaning towards on some of my videos is, is getting a, um, a good scenic background, something with some culture in it. Oh, uh, this one's got some dark spots on it, but that ain't going to stop nothing. This one may go in the freezer and be held over. Man, that's got a lot of size to it. <whistles> Which one of these is the heaviest? This one's definitely bigger. But this one, I think, is heavier than this one. That is weird. Come, That means this one has got a lot of placenta in it. I bet this one's going to be the hottest of the bunch. Just by the weight, I ought to bring the scale out. Ooh, this one's got a good bit. I think this one's heavier, though. Hold on, y'all. Let's bring the scale out on this. Okay, guys. Let's see. We're in grams here. So let's try this one's not the... That one's... Oh, hang on. That's That's ounces. Let's change that. Grams. Okay, 15 grams for that guy. Let's do a reweigh just, just to be sure. 15 grams. All right, decent. Here's this big, big joker. 20 grams. All right, well, now let's see the one that I say is the heaviest. It's actually 18 grams, 17 grams, actually. Wow, that's, that's, uh, do it again, just 
18, so it's borderline 18 grams, but it's 17. So that weird how that feels heavier. Okay, so this is the one, this big old apple here <laughs> is the one we're actually going, look at them dark spots. That's all right. We're going to, we're going to just do the video and be all right. Look at that though. Look at those lumpy, pimply gnarlies. That's, come on. They look good. No tails to speak of, unless you want to call that a tail. Beautiful pods, though, man. These are beautiful pods. Uh, it was brought to my attention that maybe they're not ripe. I think they are ripe. Uh, they don't give any hint of... Uh, I grow peppers, so I know when they start to change color. They don't give any hint of anywhere on it that it's going to start changing into an orange to a red. So I believe it's just what it, it is what it is. They call them Carolina Reapers. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, they sure look good, and I bet you <laughs> your socks and dollars that they're going to be hot, y'all. And here is my scorpion. It's got a little pimply going on. It's not nothing to be really, you know, like crazy about. And here's the habanero we're going to be eating in today's video. All right, let's get to it, shall we? All right, guys. So we're going to start with these scorpion pepper pistachios. All right, I'm going to do just for the camera the little review here of the heat. Scorpion pepper pistachios. Mmm. They're so good. They have a sting to them. Now, the habanero savage peanuts. They got a sting to them, guys. Now, let's assess this heat with actual super hot pods. We'll start with the hob. Very sweet. Don't take those hops for granted, guys. Go get you a handful of them and eat them. They get hot quick. Mm -hmm. So, of course, these have a sting to them, but they're not like eating an actual habanero. An actual habanero is going to be quite a bit hotter. Now, moving on to the big boys. Scorpion pepper. Reputably one of the hottest peppers in the world. Might be overwintered, so they're not that hot. And comparatively, they may that one's pretty dang I'm hot. But there again, maybe I'm overwintered and I'm not. My tolerance ain't that good yet. But <clears throat> these got good heat to them, but they are not like eating a fresh pod. <laughs> it's hot. <sighs> this is big mama right here. Wow, look. There's a lot of pepper. Oh, it's hot. Mm-mm-mm. 
Whew. Now, all that together has a pretty significant burn. I'd say I'm at maybe a two and a half to a three on my pain scale. Just look at the look at the stem difference, even. It's like a big fire hose delivering all that capsaicin. Oh. Those are hot. It's climbing a little. It's not going to annihilate me. But it is hot. You know, believe it or not, it's mostly all tongue burn. Not, Reapers usually kill the throat. Scorpions usually hit the tongue. I wouldn't be surprised if these are scorpions. Look at them. They may be mis mislabeled. It's a mouth sizzler. It's migrating a little bit to the back of the throat, but not, not a lot. But the tongue is on fire. I wouldn't be surprised if these are mislabeled. This happened many times with these companies. The tongue is on fire. Oh, yeah. Got a little nose run. Ah. Eyes water just a little bit. I don't think it's going to climb any more than it has. I'm probably at about a four and a half. Seems to be kind of holding. Yeah, I don't think it's going to climb no more than that. If anything, I think it's starting to back off a little bit. But they're hot now. They are hot. If I would have completely backed off from doing no heat at all for like since last pod season, like two, three months ago, whatever it's been, two months, a little over, I'd be hurting like crazy right now. But considering I've been just doing a little bit here and a little bit there, it's keeping my head above water. Yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, probably back in the three range right now, maybe two and a half to three range. Tip of the tongue still sizzling though. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please, if you haven't before, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you like what you see, if you don't like what you see, you know, that's up to you. But um, if you like to see more, hit that like and subscribe button, y'all. All right.